And so I want you to listen for uh, content, but also we're going to watch and listen to hear the alliteration in this particular section. It says, When night had fallen, the fiend crept near. Yewat tha neosian, sithan nikt become. To the lofty hall to learn how the Danes. Heon huses, who hit ring dene. In Hirot fared, when the feasting was done. After Beorthega, yebun hefdon. The Ithlings all within he saw. Fand tha ther inna, ethringa ye reeked. Asleep after revel, not wrecking of danger. Swefan after simla, sorge ne kuthon. And free from care, the fiend accursed. One she aft wera, weaked on hela. Grim and greedy, his grip made ready. Grim on grating, yero son awes. Snatched in their sleep with savage fury. Rech on rethe, ond on resta yenam. Thirty warriors, away he sprang. Thriti thregna, thanan eft yewat. Proud of his prey to repair to his home. Huthach remek, toham falan. His blood dripping booty to bring to his lair. Nidthera we filia, wicha neosan. At early dawn, when daybreak came, thawes on hutan. Mid air day. The vengeance of Grendel was revealed to all. Grendles Guthcraft, Gumen Undin. Their wails after Wassail were widely heard. The was after Wista, Wap up a Huffen. Their mourning woe, the mighty ruler. Michel Morgansue, Mer Theoden. The Ithling brave sat bowed with grief. Ethling Ergod, Unblithe Set. I think it's important for Christian students to be well-spoken. And it's, I don't think that that's possible without an acquaintance with how poetry works. Since poetry is a language of pictures and music, each module in the course has a lesson that teaches a trope or image of poetry, such as personification, followed by a lesson teaching an element of the music of poetry.